big big news in the trade field, obviously, right now as we speak. Sammy so play in the second, if I'm not mistaken, get traded to the New York Rangers for for a power boost in their age. And to be honest, I don't know what, what the Rangers are doing. Unless if it's a big cap dump for like a huge trade they're playing on, I say this is a big L for the Rangers. In all honesty, a big L. Power boost in average, easily a top six board who can still do good. And Sammy Blay has a lot of upside too, as he might be a future second liner, but for now he's a top like a nine for a third liner. And the fact that they got, got good drill for like six years and now Pavel Busanevich is just two hours Rangers are taken unless they do a big trade for maybe Eichel to replace Busanevich or some just a big trade in general. This is just a huge L. I mean, Pavel Busanevich probably had a Great, great, great season in the last season, in the short season. Look, look at his stats quickly. Guy got 48 points in 54 games. A top, that's great numbers for a guy who's getting, getting 3, 3.25 million coming up in his RFA contract. And there's already talks about St. Louis it's extending him to like five, maybe five mil. And this is a perfect trade for St. Louis because they aren't, they probably not can find someone to replace Hoffman. And they easily got a top six forward for the years to come, which is exactly what they need. And obviously, there's obviously some other issues to like life for St. Louis, like, like if they're going to stay healthy next season, if the de- if they can get like the defense can step up some more, if maybe rejoining Cairo can can get can like step up a bit from his rookie season, but this is a good start for St. Louis. And after what last season gave us. Uh, the pure hell that they went through, especially with Bennington ups and downs, the injuries. This is a start and a great start. Okay, other than that, I don't know what the Rangers are doing for this. I don't know what this trade has. It's just, I don't know. I'm, I'm shocked that the Rangers would trade Boots and Hippage. Because I feel like he was a big part of the core. And oh my God. I don't know. I don't know. But the Rangers, maybe the Rangers are thinking something down in their heads, are thinking something. If they can make a big splash, I, this is just wow. I'm shocked. This this actually shocked me, to be honest, because the fact that Risto got more and Busnevich got less means that like it's a big, big, big like shock, at this, especially to the GMs because they could have gotten Busnevich for way less. They could have gotten heck. They could have gotten Ned, could have gotten the Carolina Ned, Ned from Carolina got traded to Detroit, the fact that he was worth less than Bristol and like Boosh just like it, it mind boggles me. I don't know what's happening in the NHL. I don't know. This is these trades like that people who are worth like more are getting less value and people who are worth less are getting more value. That, that, that says something. That, that says something. And but otherwise Good on you, St. Louis. You got a top six forward. And, and hopefully you can 
support Binghamton more during this offseason because Binghamton needs all the help he can get. And this is a good start in the right direction. Uh, I'm Tank from TundraCast. Subscribe, like, like this video, do whatever. Uh, I'll see you in the next video, or next podcast. Peace.